Colonna, also known as Sierolo or Shara, is an Italian noble family, forming part of the papal nobility. It was powerful in medieval and Renaissance Rome, supplying one pope and many other church and political leaders. The family is notable for its bitter feud with the Orsini family over influence in Rome, until it was stopped by papal bull in 1511. In 1571, the heads of both families married nieces of Pope Sixtus V. Thereafter, historians recorded that no peace had been concluded between the princes of Christendom, in which they had not been included by name. According to tradition, the Colonna family is a branch of the Counts of Tusculum, by Peter son of Gregory III, called Peter de Columna from his property the Columna Castle in Colonna, in the Alban Hills. Further back, they trace their lineage past the Counts of Tusculum via Lombard and Italo-Roman nobles, merchants, and clergy through the early Middle Ages, ultimately claiming origins from the Julio-Claudian dynasty, and the Gens Julia whose origin is lost in the mists of time but which entered the annals for the first time in 489 BC with the consulship of Gaius Julius Iulus. The first cardinal from the family was appointed in 1206, when Giovanni Colonna di Carbognano was made cardinal deacon of SS. Cosma e Damiano. For many years, Cardinal Giovanni di San Paolo was identified as a member of the Colonna family and therefore its first representative in the College of Cardinals. But modern scholars have established that this was based on false information from the beginning of the 16th century. Giovanni Colonna nephew of Cardinal Giovanni Colonna di Carbognano, made his solemn vows as a Dominican around 1228 and received his theological and philosophical training at the Roman Studium of Santa Sabina. The forerunner of the Pontifical University of St. Thomas Aquinas, Angelico. He served as the provincial of the Roman province of the Dominican Order and led the provincial chapter of 1248 at Anagni. Colonna was appointed as Archbishop of Messina in 1255. Margarita Colonna was a member of the Franciscan Order. She was beatified by Pope Pius IX in 1848. At this time, a rivalry began with the pro-papal Orsini family, leaders of the Guelph faction. This reinforced the pro-Emperor Ghibelin course that the Colonna family followed throughout the period of conflict between the Papacy and the Holy Roman Empire. In 1297, Cardinal Jacopo disinherited his brothers Otone, Matteo, and Landolfo of their lands. The latter three appealed to Pope Boniface VIII, who ordered Jacopo to return the land, and furthermore hand over the family's strongholds of Colonna, Palestrina, and other towns to the Papacy. Jacopo refused, in May, Boniface removed him from the College of Cardinals and excommunicated him and his followers. The Colonna family declared that Boniface had been elected illegally following the unprecedented abdication of Pope Celestine V. The dispute led to open warfare. And in September, Boniface appointed Landolfo to the command of his army, to put down the revolt of Landolfo's own Colonna relatives. By the end of 1298, Landolfo had captured Colonna, Palestrina and other towns, and raised them to the ground. The family's lands were distributed among Landolfo and his loyal brothers, the rest of the family fled Italy. The exiled colonies allied with the Pope's other great enemy, Philip IV of France, who in his youth had been tutored by Cardinal Egidio Colonna. In September 1303, Shara and Philip's advisor, Guillaume de Nogare, led a small force into Anani to arrest Boniface VIII and bring him to France, where he was to stand trial. The two managed to apprehend the Pope, and Shara reportedly slapped the Pope in the face in the process, which was accordingly dubbed the outrage of Anani. The attempt eventually failed after a few days, when locals freed the Pope. However, Boniface VIII died on 11th of October, allowing France to dominate his weaker successors during the Avignon Papacy. The family remained at the center of civic and religious life throughout the late Middle Ages. Cardinal Egidio Colonna died at the papal court in Avignon in 1314. An Augustinian, he had studied theology in Paris under Street. Thomas of Aquinas to become one of the most authoritative thinkers of his time. In the 14th century, the family sponsored the decoration of the Church of San Giovanni, most notably the floor mosaics. In 1328, Louis IV of Germany marched into Italy for his coronation as Holy Roman Emperor. As Pope John XXII was residing in Avignon and had publicly declared that he would not crown Louis, the king decided to be crowned by a member of the Roman aristocracy, who proposed Shara Colonna. In honor of this event, the Colonna family was granted the privilege of using the imperial pointed crown on top of their coat of arms. The celebrated poet Petrarch, 
was a great friend of the family, in particular of Giovanni Colonna and often lived in Rome as a guest of the family. He composed a number of sonnets for special occasions within the Colonna family, including Colonna the Glorious, the great Latin name upon which all our hopes rest. In this period, the Colonna started claiming they were descendants of the Julio-Claudian dynasty. Palazzo Colonna in Rome at the Council of Constance, the Colonna finally succeeded in their papal ambitions when Adwan Colonna was elected on November 14, 1417. As Martin V, he reigned until his death on February 20, 1431. Vittoria Colonna became famous in the 16th century as a poet and a figure in literate circles. In 1627 Anna Colonna, daughter of Filippo I. Colonna, married Taddeo Barberini of the family Barberini, nephew of Pope Urban VIII. In 1728, the Carbognano branch of the Colonna family added the name Barberini to its family name when Giulio Cesar Colonna di Chara married Cornelia Barberini, daughter of the last male Barberini to hold the name and granddaughter of Mafio Barberini. The Colonna family have been prince assistants to the papal throne since 1710, though their papal princely title only dates from 1854. The family residence in Rome, the Palazzo Colonna, is open to the public every Saturday morning. The main Colonna di Palliano line is represented today by Prince Marcantonio Colonna di Palliano, Prince and Duke of Palliano, whose heir is Don Giovanni Andrea Colonna di Palliano. And by Don Prospero Colonna di Palliano, Prince of Avella, whose heir is Don Filippo Colonna di Palliano. The Colonna di Stiliano line is represented by Don Prospero Colonna di Stiliano, Prince of Stiliano, whose heir is his nephew Don Stefano Colonna di Stiliano. Otto Colonna, Pope Martin V 1417-1431 Prospero Colonna, Papal Condottier. Thanks for watching.